Half-Life 2 bestowed us with the gravity gun, and we haven't looked at the genre the same way since. After three years, it still stands as a case study in simplicity, versatility, and satisfaction. Valve has been dripping out content based on the gun's principles with surprising infrequency, but it's finally decided to set things right with the Orange Box, a compilation of past and present that tidies up the series into one cohesive, seriously addictive package. No need to thank me. The Crib Notes version of Half-Life 2 is that humans have been imprisoned in what amounts to refugee camps in a destitute area dubbed City 17. You have chosen or been chosen to relocate. In the first sequel, Episode 1, scientific rump kicker Gordon Freeman escapes, but his fate is left a mystery. Episode 2, the lone new piece of story-driven content in the orange box, picks up right where Episode 1 left off. It's easily the most rewarding story of the lot as long-held plans come to fruition. There are heartwarming moments and others filled with heartbreak. It's not the story itself that breaks new ground, but you immediately attach yourself to the lovable characters and ultimately care deeply about their fate. We scored. If you're looking for a great way to spend 60 bucks, you can't go wrong with the orange box. You get the original Half-Life 2, Episode 1, and Episode 2, in addition to Portal, an ingenious puzzle game. As the final edition, there's Team Fortress 2, an elegantly accessible team-based multiplayer suite. Half-Life 2 clocks in at a solid 15 hours, and the two expansions are around 4 hours apiece. Tack on Portal's scores of stages and the near-endless fun of Fortress 2, and you begin to see how much entertainment value has been jammed onto the disc. Everything working all right? Portal makes use of a brand new gun. Very good. Fire it once to create the exit point, and fire it again to create the entry. It may seem simple, but the mind-bending ways it's incorporated into the level design will have you thinking in ways you never thought possible. We're talking about the next level of puzzle games, and it's just an extra in the orange box. Team Fortress 2 initially seems restrained. There are just six different maps, and you can only play a single team-based game variant on each one. It would definitely be nice to have more than one choice of maps for Capture the Flag, but after you spend some time with it, you'll realize that it's all about the available character classes and playing to their strengths. Mission begins in 10 seconds. There are nine different classes in total, and each has different abilities that make them effective, yet they're versatile enough to play however you want and still have moderate success. The engineer can set up turrets and supply outposts playing a defensive game. Or he can use the turret in conjunction with the shotgun to push the battlefront forward and take a more offensive approach. The same goes for just about every class in the game. The lumbering pyro is slow and has a short attack radius, but once he sets an enemy ablaze, they'll have to seek water or face a slow death. The balancing of Team Fortress 2 is simply incredible, and no matter what kind of player you think you are, you'll find more than enough motivation to master each role. We have taken the enemy intelligence. Whether you're the habitual renter or the guy who drops a couple bills every Tuesday, the orange box will make you feel like a thief when you plop down your cash. Step on it, Gordon. Outwardly, Half-Life 2 and all of its offspring may seem like typical first-person shooters. They do, after all, have the usual lineup of armaments, including shotguns, machine guns, pistols, grenades, and the like. But the influence of the gravity gun cannot be overstated. You can conceivably complete most of these games without using a gram of gunpowder, simply picking up objects and hurling them at enemies. What makes this fun and rewarding is the physics. In all honesty, Havoc looks like a minor disturbance compared to the weight and inertia on display here. Every last object reacts realistically to outside influence and each other, making it fun just to pick things up and sling them around. It's been that way for three years, and there are still no real threats to the throne. Episode 2 definitely takes a new angle on the series. Where Half-Life 2 is all about the gravity gun, and Episode 1 is all about fighting as a team, Episode 2 centers around an old, beat-up vehicle. Discovered fairly early in the game, the jalopy quickly becomes Gordon's most lethal weapon. You'll learn how to use it, or fail miserably. Team Fortress 2, where the real legs in this compilation lie, isn't without its issues. First of all, the game has some serious connection and lag issues. Now, several days after release, there still isn't a fix in place. The other easy criticism is the lack of customization options. Just six maps, and only one game variant for each, 
amounts to the game being incredibly balanced, but just one capture the flag map isn't nearly enough. You failed! The source engine is becoming a little gray around the temples. The enemy models in particular are starting to look dated, and a lot of the textures break up when you get up close and personal. But for every knock on the game's visuals, there is something to make up for. Facial animation is simply incredible, and the convincing way the characters emote do more to draw you in than all the shaders in the world ever could. The survival of Earth depends on the data you get! Yes, I know! The audio is just as good. The voice acting is at the top of the class, and throbbing music kicks in at just the right moments. Creating the sound effects for every object bouncing off every other object must have been an absolute nightmare, but worth every minute. You're staring at the Walmart of video games. The orange box has everything you want, some things you didn't even think you wanted, and all of them at a great price. When you consider that you have what many coined a perfect game in Half-Life 2, two incredible mini-chapters, one of the most innovative puzzle games you'll ever play, and addictive online multiplayer all for just 60 bones, you can't go wrong. Do not hesitate. Man's freedom awaits. Good luck, Adam.